Hello and welcome to this 15 minute parent forum. Uh, my name is Mr Orr, I'm head of sixth form and um, I'm going to be talking through Unifrog today uh, which is a one-stop shop uh, that students can use for any careers applications or, or really just finding out any information about any future prospects that they may uh, have. Um, if you have a look at the description um, of the YouTube video uh, you'll find that there's a form that you can click um, if you've got any questions following this, if you've got any issues, any problems with anything um, that's been, been said about Unifrog, uh, please just um, click on that link, um, send me a message and I'll be able to get back to you. Um, what I will say is that this is a pre-recorded video, um, so uh, I'll be available to chat during the, the 8 o'clock um, premier time of, of the YouTube video. Um, what I will say is this is my second full go of going through this. I did the entire video and uh, I found out that I didn't plug in the microphone. So hopefully second time's lucky. But it means that I've got a, a good full run through of, of, what, um, of, of what I want to say about Unifrog today. So the first thing that I, I just wanted to say was that the best way of thinking about Unifrog is, is that it's like this document which we would have done at school. So if you remember your National Record of Achievement, um, well, with a digital age and, and students having access to um, such a, a wealth of information uh, from their phones and from their com uh, computers, um, it's, it's now advanced into the modern age. So uh, a National Record of Achievement, as you will remember, it gave all of the, the major milestones and stepping points of your secondary education. And Unifrog is, is that, that same sort of record of achievement. It's something that students uh, will have when they join us in year seven and they'll continue all the way into year 13. Likewise, if they've joined us at a different year group like year 10 or year 12, um, they'll be able to take up Unifrog and then continue it on. Um, they can also have access to it one year after they leave school as well, which is quite useful. So what is Unifrog? Um, well, Unifrog is a, um, a company that's based down in London and they started up when they realised that the, um, the careers provision in schools um, following 2010 um, had started to reduce. And what they could offer was a digital tool that would support schools um, and students could access information about careers um, from, from home, um, on their phones, really at any point. And Unifrog has expanded as these years have progressed because their service has been so effective and thousands of schools across the country uh, have signed up to them. And what they are is they are a one-stop shop where students can explore their interests, they can find and successfully apply for their, uh, their best next step after school. Um, and what they do, Unifrog, is they don't rest on their laurels. They keep on adding more information for students, um, really. So there's there's absolutely everything that you could possibly want um, if you're making an application um, or thinking about your, your future prospects. So why are we talking about this now? Why am I doing a, a parent forum um, on um on Unifrog. Well, during remote learning, um, students are, are going to have issues in terms of their, their motivation to study. Uh, they, they might um, lose focus, they might not have that direction, they might feel um, a, a little bit disheartened. Unifrog, um, th the purpose behind it is to make sure that students have a clear focus on their future destinations, their future ideas for careers, and with that will come motivation to study. Um, there are so many educational journal articles that you can find based on um, setting goals and increasing motivation for study in itself. And, and that's why uh, we're suggesting that you take some time after this particular talk to go through Unifrog um, with your son or daughter um, to have a look through the different options with them so that they have that focus. In addition, Unifrog provides a platform for new information. So if students want to find out more about their subject areas or find more uh, out about um, future destinations or future routes, um, then Unifrog provides that stretch and challenge for students. So let's say that a student has completed their work a little bit earlier and they're looking for that next challenge. They can go on Unifrog and they can find out a number of different avenues that they might wish to, to explore. Um, it's important to state as well that um, Unifrog is GDPR compliant. So when students register, um, the information um, can be accessed by senior members of the school, um, but it's it's not any personal information that um, can 
that, that we would we would specifically note down there. It's not like our version of Sims, for example. Uh, what Unifrog um, includes for the students is like their record of achievement. So when they've done something that they feel is important, they can log that in Unifrog. And likewise, it will keep a record of things like personal statements, CVs, cover letters, those sorts of things. So Unifrog, as I've said, is a, is a one-stop um, shop. It's, it's where you've got all of these different tools and tools can be divided into five different areas. So um, students can explore different pathways. They can search for opportunities. They can record what they've done. They can draft application materials and they can make applications. And what's important to say as well for, for Unifrog is that new tools keep getting added. So when I first started using Unifrog, probably about five, six years ago, um, there were nowhere near this amount of tools. That, that what they do is they listen to schools um, and they they increase their, their tool functions and they try and improve them as they're, they're going along. So I would anticipate that if you're a year seven parent, by the time your son um, is in year 13, um, it's going to be drastically different. And, and I'd imagine that if there's anything that isn't th there that students are after or parents are after, they'll add it. Um, it is a, an incredibly useful um, series of tools um, and you can use them um, in, in all walks of life. So if I give a personal example, when I applied for my uh, job at uh, Old Swinford Hospital, I uh, had Unifrog at my previous school and I wanted to make sure that I was ready for the grilling that Mr Kilbride was going to give me and I wanted to make sure that my application was as strong as it could be. So I looked at the CV tool, I looked at what effective CV should have um, in the 21st century. Um, I uh, also looked at their cover letter information and um, I looked at the competencies tool to make sure that I was prepared for any interview questions um, and I did lots of my preparation um, from this. It, from a student's perspective in year 13 and year 12 um, where I'm head of sixth form, students can use this to search for different UK universities, apprenticeships, um, universities abroad. Um, they can use it to find out more about certain careers or certain um, subjects that they wish to pursue at undergraduate level. They can write their personal statements on there, which are important for when they're making applications. Um, they can record competencies so that they're prepared for interview questions. They can go on the know-how library, you know, et cetera, et cetera. There's, there's a wealth of different information that they can get from this. And really, all of these tools will be useful by the end of year 13. But even for year seven students, there are things on here that are going to be really useful. So what I thought I would do in this particular talk is go through four specific tools and explain how they could be useful um, for your son or daughter. And then just give you a brief demo by looking at um, a series of, of screenshots that I've done um, using the, the Unifrog web browser. So one of the tools that um, was on the previous screen was the careers library. So the careers library um, has over a thousand career profiles. You can type in a job. Um, so let's say you want to be an architect, you can type in architect and you can find a profile that will detail um, the qualifications and skills needed to become an architect. It will give you an interview with an industry professional. So in this case, Adam Webster, who is an architectural assistant, um, it will give you labor market information. So uh, how many jobs are required in this particular sector over the course of the next five years, what starting salaries look like, um, and, and the list goes on. Um, with these jobs as well, you, you if you're not too sure, if you don't actually know what you want to do, um, you can search by different sector types or things that you might be interested in. So if you're quite an outdoorsy person, you can click on um, jobs and career, sorry, careers that are, are linked to uh, being outdoors and it will give you a list of, of potential options there. Um, they keep adding to this as well. So it says over a thousand career profiles, they keep adding to them. Uh, and what we've noticed is that if there's something that's not there, we can send them an email and lo and behold, they'll, they'll make sure that it's there next time a student wants to look into that particular career. Another useful um, section uh, is the UK Universities tool. Um, students can enter um, a subject of interest. Um, they can put in predicted grades, so grades that they're hoping to get at their, their end of their, their A-levels um, and BTEC subjects. And they can rank and filter different UK universities by things like hours of lectures, social life, price of accommodation, graduate job rates, starting salary. Um, rather than going on each individual university website uh, where there's going to be a vested interest, there's going to be lots of jargon to try and cut through because obviously every single UK university website is going to try and market themselves as the best. 
um, students can see which ones are, are going to be more suited to them and that can give them a bit of a link about maybe a route that they want to go into. They can see the different kinds of courses that are available. So again, if a student is unsure, they can type in um, things that they're interested in and it will give them ideas about UK university courses that, that could be useful for them. But we recognise as well that not all students um, want to go to university. Also, not all students need to go to university. There's plenty of professions that don't require an undergraduate degree. Um, and actually, with, with the advent of, of tuition fees um, in, in the past uh, decade, um, lots of students are now deciding actually it would be better to do an apprenticeship where you can train on the job and you can get paid as well. And lo and behold, there is an apprenticeship um, tool on Unifrog um, and this updates every 24 hours. So students can find live apprenticeship vacancies. Um, they can rank and filter those opportunities in the same way as university courses. They have direct links to the apply pages. So rather than having to sift through a number of different employment websites or waiting on email and mailing lists for, for people to contact them, uh, Unifrog's UK Apprenticeships tool um, has all that information. Again, it's trying to cut through any jargon. It's trying to stop any vested interests that are being put forward on, on websites and employer websites. It's designed to be independent. And you'll also find that uh, because apprenticeships have to be officer compliant because they are uh, delivering training, that there'll be a description about the, the employer and the training offered there and it will, it will give their rating as well. So um, the apprenticeships tool, the UK universities tool, um, the Oxbridge tool, the um, foreign universities tool, um, these are all useful for students who are, are thinking about that next step. There's a, a tool as well, which is a, a great example of how Unifrog keeps adapting and keeps changing. It's called the Special Opportunities Tool. And I'd really recommend students, particularly in years 10, 11, 12 and 13, to have a look at this. Um, the Special Opportunities, you can type in the subject that you're interested in. So let's say that you're interested in history. Um, and you can find um, scholarships, activities, contextual offers, um, extracurricular activities, virtual work experience, um, you know, competitions as well. You can filter them by different circumstances, characteristics. It's got the direct links for applying as well. And if I give you a good example of a, a current year 13 student, when she was in year 12, she found a history competition um, to do a, an essay with the, the new College of Humanities. She wrote the essay and um, she got shortlisted and when she was applying for universities this year, she applied for the new College of, of Humanities. It was the main thing that they talked about in the interview and they gave her a contextual offer as a consequence. We have a number of students in year 13 who have applied for Aberystwyth University because famously they offer a number of um, bursary schemes um, and students can find that those out using the special opportunities tool. Virtual work experiences is um, appears to be the way forward in, in 2021, you can find virtual work experience opportunities as well using that special opportunities section of, uh, of Unifrog. So if I show a little bit of a demo on what the website looks like, these are the tools that um, you can see um, that I've, I've mentioned already. Um, if I show a few others as well, so there's a personality profile where students can um, get their findings on the Myers-Briggs test. They can find out what kind of personality they are. They can find which careers might be linked best to that particular personality type. Um, it's quite good fun as well. They can see what kind of people they're compatible with. The subjects library is, is really good for students who are wanting that stretch and challenge that relate to a subject area. Um, so you can um, find a subject that you might be interested in. So let's say mathematics. Um, you can find um, that with the mathematics guide, uh, what you need to do in order to progress to study mathematics at a higher level, but it will also give you this geek out section where there's a, a wealth of different stretch and challenge opportunities, TED talks, podcasts, videos, articles that are all relevant um, in that particular area. Um, you can also look at MOOCs. MOOCs are massive open online courses. So they're a bit like open university courses. Um, so many places are offering them now like um, edX and um, Coursera um, so that list there was just ones on artificial intelligence so you can see a little bit of what the website looks like it keeps your progress as well so it says how much progress you've made um, in um, in your using your Unifrog and everything that you do as well saves automatically which is really helpful 
So the final thing for me to say is thank you very much for watching this. Um, your student, uh, sorry, your, your child, your son or daughter should have already um, been logged into to Unifrog. Most students have. If they haven't, um, if they say that they've never used it before, they can click the um, sign in for the first time section. Um, if you go to the um, school website and you go under the policies and documents section, there's our guide for remote guidance and there's the specific form code for each year group there. Alternatively, if you have any problems with that, just send me an email. My email is robertor at oshsch.com. If you've got any questions, please put them in the, um, the hyperlink that's under the description. And uh, thank you very much for, for watching and uh, I'll hopefully see you again at some of the other 15 minute forums that are taking place virtually over the next two weeks. Thanks very much.